Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just sitting in the pickup line waiting for my kids to get done with school. And I started thinking again about how to declutter your life and, um, and what I have been trying to do to declutter mine. And I thought of this idea and I thought I would share it with you. Um, so sometimes we talk about decluttering things if they're like one trick ponies. So like you get a gadget, say it's like a lemon juice squeezer and it's only good for like the lemon juice or maybe lime, but like it's got, you know, one trick up its sleeve and it's supposed to make your life easier. But what's happened is that you've collected all these one trick ponies and it's not really making your life easier, right? But what if you found a tool that really did make your life easier? You'd be all over that, right? Um, well, an example for some people, maybe some people can relate. I can't relate because I don't have this, but it kind of made sense to me anyways, even though I don't have this item, was um, the Instapot. Um, everybody went crazy for it, right? It was supposed to make your job easier. Dinner was easier in the Instapot. It wasn't just crock pot meals. It was... It wasn't just a rice cooker, right? It's um, Nowadays, you can even get them with an air fryer. So this item isn't like a one-trick pony, right? It, it's designed to be time-saving. And I swear, many people swear by this. Like, they live and die by their Instapot. And, and that's great. That's great for them. And I haven't jumped on board on it yet. But um, for them, it totally, totally works. It has ease, made dinner making easier, right? In some form, hopefully. That was the design of the Instapot. That's why they call it Instant Pot. Instapot. See, I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, um, so how does this relate to decluttering? If you could find like one tool to help your life, to decrease the stress, to make things more calmer, um, to free up more time, everybody does not have enough time. We always want more time, right? Um, wouldn't you just like run and jump on board and just grab that tool no matter what? Because it's in the long run, it's gonna really like help your life, right? So kind of like with Instapot, we sometimes have to learn. Like we have to learn how to use it. We have to learn how to cook, what recipes, how much water. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we have to try again, sometimes we burn it. Sometimes we're afraid to push that start button in case the pressure like, you know, pops, explodes it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to work it. But so you guys fill in the blank, right? Okay, um, but besides that, um, sometimes we buy things on impulse. So maybe we bought our Instapot on impulse. Maybe it was a gift, maybe somebody gave it to us as a gift. Maybe we made a plan saying, I want to use this machine. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to purchase it. I've researched the best one for us and I'm going to buy it. And then I'm going to sit down and read the manual and I'm gonna practice my recipes. I got three new recipe books and I'm really going to work at it. And I'm going to master this Instapot because I know once I master it, it's going to make my life better and easier and dinner meals will be much more simplified but still tasting gourmet, right? Yeah. Okay, the same thing goes with our lives. So there is one great tool that we can use that we, some of us, we don't plan it. Some of us do plan. Um, some of us um, have to study and, and research the best um, manual or the best recipes for this tool. Um, and some of us just, try it out and practice and when we burn things we just start over and try again right so um and then eventually we master it and then we get our benefits um and it's gonna sound crazy but that tool is decluttering um everybody says i don't have enough time to declutter i don't have enough time to declutter or to minimize or go through my stuff i get it there's a lot of brain power that goes into it the same way there's a lot of brain power to try to pick your meals and touch your Instapot buttons and you know make everything work and hope you don't burn it and add enough liquid and and try to convert things you know like I get that there's a lot of decisions that have to be made when we're decluttering do I need this do I want this can I save it do I want to manage it do I want to store it 
is this good for someone else? Should I sell it? Should I borrow it? Should I donate it? Should I just throw it in the trash? Like, there's so many decisions that it hurts our brains, right? So we just turn it off. But we're forgetting that it's actually the tool that gets us to our end result. If we really want to simplify our lives, if we really want to um, lessen the stress, if we want to free up more time, we need to devote more time to this tool. The same way that we had to devote time to the Instapot, and in the end, once we mastered it, we love it, right? It sits on our counter all day long. We cook our every single dinner, right? Uh, dessert, breakfast, our own yogurt in it. Like, you know, come on. Like, you, it, take, it takes practice, right? And we had to do it, and now we love it. The same was, is with decluttering. It will, we will get to our end result. We can, but we have to use the tool to get there. And we have to remember that by devoting the time now... It will free up so much more time in the future and it will help decrease your stress load. And But if you keep putting it off saying, I don't have time, I don't have time, really you still feel that anxiety inside. You still have your mental to-do list. I need to do that. I need to do that. And you're pushing it off, pushing it off and things get bigger and bigger and more and more, more overwhelming. But really the tool to help you to not feel overwhelmed is the one that you need to use, which is the decluttering. Um, so with that, there are things I've talked about in previous videos and I'll keep talking about that you can do to help you get going on decluttering. Um, maybe it's a slow study progress. Maybe you consciously choose to do declutter. You say, okay, this is a, our fall break. I know it sucks to be doing this on fall break, but I got to get this done because I want to free up more time in the future. So kids go play and I am going to devote eight hours, four hours, two hours, two days, whatever it takes and make a huge impact, okay, and get that done and, and that will, and then slowly start building some of your momentum going on because you've got a huge chunk down. You're going to feel so much better almost immediately. Even though you had to sacrifice your two days, well, guess what? You had to sacrifice time to travel to the store to buy your Instapot. And then you had to sacrifice your time to sit down and read all the new recipes to learn how to work it. And maybe even the actual manual. So, you know, think of it that way. Um, don't put so much stock into it as far as trying to be emotional about it. Just think, it is worth it to me to get this tool and to, to use it. And then I can get to my, last, my, my final goal. Um, it will work, I promise. It's just like the Instapot. It's just... You gotta change your perspective sometimes um, because decluttering isn't the end result. Decluttering is the tool that gets you to the end result. So you need to use it. Um, and the first step is always the hardest. If you just start, pretty soon you'll see your momentum's going. And engage others. Grab your best friend. Do it on you know Skype or Zoom together. Both going through your pantry at the same time and laughing and joking and saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe this spice is from 2013. Whatever it takes, grab your kids, grab your husband, say, you know what, we're going to tackle all of the rooms. We're going to tackle underneath the stairs. We're going to tackle the garage or the attic. We're just going to get it done um, and, and get, get things in a manageable spot, a manageable place. Um, you're going to feel so much better. Um, and um, anyways, there's my analogy. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about today. So maybe it'll help, maybe not. But there you go. The weird things on my brain. I don't even have an Instapot. I don't even know why I thought of that. I don't know. But I think food tastes good from Instapot. My sister gives me some. Thanks, Jamie. All right, we'll catch you next time. Bye.